Starmer vowed no tax hikes, yet council tax jumps 5%. Is this a broken promise or political necessity? Today, I'm tackling a rather hot topic, Labour's broken promise on freezing council tax. Remember last year? Sir Keir Starmer, leader of the Labour Party, confidently assured us that council tax would be frozen. A bold promise, especially after challenging then Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to match his pledge. He even went as far as saying, you could take that council tax rise you just got and rip it up. He portrayed it as a tax cut for 99% of working people. Fast forward to 2025 to 26, and what do we have? A maximum council tax hike of 5%. That's right, folks. An additional £110 a year for the average household from April. Last year's pledge was supposed to be funded by extending the windfall tax on energy firms. But now? Despite Deputy Prime Minister Angela Rayner's assurance in September that council tax wouldn't rise, here we are, facing a significant increase. Let's dive into the numbers. The average Band D council tax bill stands at £2,171 in England. With this new decision, local authorities can increase this by up to £109 next year. If you're in one of the priciest Band H homes, expect an increase of £217. And if you're in Rutland, brace yourselves. Band D bills will climb by £127 and Band H by a whopping £254. But wait, it gets better. Both the Prime Minister and Chancellor Rachel Reeves face smaller increases due to Westminster's below average council tax rates. The charge for number 10 and number 11 Downing Street? Around £1,946 despite being Band H properties. Yes, you heard that right. Council tax is a compulsory charge set by local authorities to fund essential services. They're allowed to raise bills by up to 5% each year, with any increase beyond that requiring government permission or a referendum. Now let's hear from Benjamin Elks of the Taxpayers' Alliance. He rightly points out that while taxpayers might be relieved the referendum cap remains, they won't forget the Prime Minister's broken promise to freeze rates. Many households are now facing higher bills due to this hypocrisy. Greg Smith, Conservative MP for Mid-Buckinghamshire, also chimed in, stating, once more, Labour is saying one thing to get elected and doing the opposite once in power. Council tax, for most households, is the second or third biggest bill every month. People feel let down by this additional broken promise from the Labour government. So, there you have it. Labour's promise to freeze council tax has melted away, leaving millions of UK taxpayers feeling the burn. Remember this come election day. Promises are easy to make, but actions speak louder than words. Thanks for tuning in to Make Dollars Online. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tips on building your wealth. Stay smart, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.